Today's uh, field-based mobile workers need to be empowered with the right amount of information at their fingertips to be able to do their jobs better. And today we're hearing more and more enterprises needing to have an affordable solution and affordability is key. What we found was that from a device solution perspective, we needed to be able to hit certain feature set and price points to affordably automate these enterprises, especially in the emerging markets. And that's really where the MC45 fits in. For emerging markets, again, there are two issues. One is to get to the right price point that many of those markets require in order to get the total cost of ownership and the return on investment they're looking for. But there's also an issue with regard to form factor. In many emerging markets, there's literally a requirement for just a physically smaller device, something that's a little bit more like a personal cell phone, but it's still a durable industrial class tool. The MC45 was designed for that second. Well, in the case of the MC45, it's our first truly global product. And by that, I mean we've emphasized the research and development that we've done with uh, Asian markets. So when you look at the MC45, what you see is a smaller device uh, at a very specific price point, yet it's a very featureful product. And that was one of the big challenges of the MC45. And as we started looking into it and we realized that this is a product that really can hit a market that we're not in right now, and we looked at our competition and said, well, if they're developing products in this sector, we know we can develop products in this sector also. And by looking at the platforming approach, which again, enterprise mobile computing is known for, we were able to leverage, again, our high EDA product platforms, reduce those costs, and we were able to realize that we could bring a product to market and hit that price point. When you have a compact uh, package, uh, you cannot just ignore the form factor. For example, when you design the uh, keypad, we cannot just design our own keypad without having the customer input. So we visit the customer with our initial concept and they provide some feedback based on the concept. We keep contact with the customer in order to improve our design concept. So there's a lot of intelligent trade-offs made in the design of the MC45 so that it not only provides a lot of value to our customers, but it fits well within our product portfolio. So it doesn't actually overlap any of our most rugged products, it doesn't overlap any of our most featureful products, but what it does do is it hits a very specific niche and hits that niche very well. The secret to the MC45 is balance. Balancing just enough features to complete the solution for the customer at the price point that makes their return and investment model work. The size, the form factor, the ergonomics of the device was something we paid a lot of attention to. Because what we heard was the user experience and the interaction of the device with the user is probably as critical to the functionality of the device itself. A lot of rigor, a lot of attention went into making that device pocketable having the striking balance of the right fit in the hand, the right form factor and the right ergonomics, and marrying that with the right feature set, uh, 3G WAN, cellular connectivity, GPS, uh, a slew of multi-mode data capture connectivity, a rugged and reliable construction. So marrying all these rich features with that striking balance of ergonomics and form factor really delivers a solid set of features for the MC45 at the end of the day.